Guilin, a city of natural monuments beautifully interwoven with man-made structures, boasts about 100,000 karst mountains and the refreshing Li River. Guilin's entire mountain ridge is covered with vines and small trees clinging to the rocky slopes. During the orchid season, the mountains are dotted with colorful flowers, making it look like a giant stone forest. Meanwhile, the Li River, which stretches and winds for about 80 kilometers, is the link between Guilin and Yangshu or city. When the day is bright, the river looks like a bright landscape painting. While when it rains or fogs, the Li River looks like a mysterious painting but still holds a beautiful and mesmerizing charm. The Li River, along with its tributaries, flows from Guilin to Yangshuo. It drops from 141 meters in Guilin to 103 meters in Yangshuo town. On the other hand, the streets and buildings erected on the vast plains stretching from southern Guilin town on both sides of the Li River to Yangshuo and beyond make the town look even more enchanting. Until finally, the combination of the houses, the towering limestone mountains and the calmly flowing waters of the Li River produces a magical aura that has inspired painters and poets for centuries. Guilin, nestled in the northeast of the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, is home to nearly 5 million people according to the 2020 census. In addition to its breathtakingly beautiful scenery, considered the best under the sky, the city, which sits on the west bank of the Li River and borders Hune to the north, is a city of history and culture that is home to a dozen ethnic minorities, including the Zhuang, Yao, Hui, and Miao, Dong and others. The cultures and traditions of these ethnic groups have coexisted with Han culture, creating a fascinating cultural diversity in the region, from the traditional dress, dances, music and festivals typical of the ethnic minorities. Guilin is the cradle of many famous artists and writers in Chinese history. The stunning natural scenery is often the subject of paintings, poems, as well as other works of art. In addition, Guilin's cuisine has a unique flavor and reflects the richness of its nature. The food here uses the freshest ingredients available such as fish from the Li River and local vegetables. People's lives in Guilin reflect a blend of ancient Chinese tradition and modernity. This means that while Guilin is a rapidly developing city, agriculture is still an important part of people's lives in the surrounding rural areas. The cultivation of rice, tea, fruits, and various other types of agricultural cultivation is the main livelihood for most rural residents. The people of Guilin also deeply nurture traditional Chinese art and culture. Calligraphy, painting, Traditional music and dance are often part of daily life. In fact, they often organize local art exhibitions and cultural performances to honor this cultural heritage. Guilin people's lives reflect an interesting harmony between modernity and tradition. Meanwhile, the city continues to develop as a famous tourist destination. Guilin has a long history that spans across multiple dynasties. The Guilin region has been inhabited since the Neolithic era, with archaeological evidence showing human presence in the area for thousands of years. During the Qin dynasty and Han dynasty, Guilin became part of imperial China. In the 7th century AD, during the Tang dynasty, Guilin became an administrative center under the control of the imperial government. Later, during the Song dynasty which ruled between 960 to 1279 AD, Guilin experienced significant economic growth due to its position as a trade center between South and North China. In the 13th century, Guilin fell into the hands of the Yuan dynasty after the Mongol conquest. 
The city, however, became the center of military and government administration. In the 14th century, Guilin again became part of the Ming dynasty and experienced further development. During this time, fortresses and city walls were built to protect the city from foreign attacks. Finally, during the 20th century, Guilin was involved in various important events in modern Chinese history. During China's war against Japan between 1937 and 1945, Guilin became the center of resistance against the Japanese occupation. After the end of the civil war in China between 1945 and 1949, Guilin became part of the People's Republic of China. Since the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949, Guilin has developed rapidly in many aspects, including economy, tourism, as well as infrastructure. Its beautiful cast landscape and natural attractions have made Guilin a popular international tourist destination. Along with China's economic development, Guilin has become one of the famous tourist destinations in China and around the world. Its stunning natural beauty such as karst mountains, rivers and caves has attracted visitors from all over the world. <laughs>